definition of slip lane stands very very simple it's nothing it's nothing but you know the, so definitely see the slip cannot happen at all planes because definitely uh, for an atom to move uh, to cover the, the shortest translational vector or, the, or for the atom to move for the minimum distance uh, the first criteria is that the the plane of atoms the atom has to be present in a plane which has got the highest planar density right so that the you know uh, the packing density the packing fraction of atoms on that particular plane is very very high right correct the first thing slip plane okay so now uh, once we uh, have the slip plane we also need to know about the slip direction because this is another uh, component that is required to describe the slip system so it's nothing this direction is nothing but the uh, uh, direction in the present in the slip in, in the in the you know in the slip plane or in the close packed plane uh, or the most close packed plane which is uh, having the highest linear density of atoms okay so, uh, so 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 i think this is this have been taught i think in, in your class i I roughly suppose that. So, if you have the slip plane and slip direction, uh, the slip system is basically nothing but the combination of the slip plane and the slip direction. So, it's represented as H K L U V W. So, if the mirror indices of slip plane is H K L and mirror indices of slip direction is U V W, so H K L is represented in terms of the curly brackets and slip direction is represented in terms of you know the uh, this some arrow kind of a bracket. So, that's what. So that is H K L U V W. Well, okay. So uh, with this, uh, so okay. Uh, so now let me ask you one thing. So, uh, do guys, do you have any idea about um, you know why dislocations can move only on certain plane? I said dislocations can move only by the shortest uh, distance on certain plane and in certain direction. Like, do you guys have any idea about uh, you know uh, you know why this this should happen? I mean, have you been taught any uh, you know formula or something? I just want to know. Uh, yes or no? Any guys can speak. You can guys you can unmute, unmute and speak yourselves. Feel free. No. Okay. Sir. Means. Uh, okay. 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 Got it. Got it. Got it. Sure. 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 Okay. Let me. Okay. So. So. Uh, see. This is the actually the governing equation. See. For example, if you have tau p n is nothing but the Pierce Navarro stress. Okay. So that is equal to nothing but the product of the you know the shear modulus into negative exponential of two pi w. By b. Now the question is, what is all these terms? So the first term is that the g g is nothing but the shear modulus of the material. Okay, uh, so that you know, it's uh, the shear modulus. I think you you have an idea already. Now the now the what is this w w is something which is new. The width of the dislocation, right? So and b b is nothing but the Burgers vector. When I was talking of the of b, na, so that is nothing but the Burgers vector. So here basically what you find is that uh, you know. Uh, so uh, here, what you find is the width of the dislocation. So width of the dislocation is nothing but uh, you know if you have a missing line of atoms. See, uh, one of one of you have told that a dislocation, uh, you know, th there is a lattice distortion which is always associated with the with the presence of a dislocation, right? Because of course the uh, you know if uh, you have suppose the continuity of the plane of the atomic plane is disturbed by one of the lines missing, what happens is that the definitely there is going to be some strain, you know, some localized strain in the material. When there is some localized strain, obviously the position of atoms is definitely going to shift here and there. I mean, uh, I mean the other atoms in the in the particular plane is definitely going to shift here and there. So, not exact. They will not be shifting randomly because this is again a, a crystalline material. But definitely there will be some distortion in the material. So, uh, you know, as a very simple way. So this is a very simple way of you know uh, visualizing an edge dislocation, for example. Uh, Smooth dislocation also you can visualize, but uh, it's quite hard to you know visualize in that manner. So that's why people mostly you know try to visualize edge dislocations uh, for as a result. So basically, what happens is that you see uh, that if you have uh, now uh, a material which has got uh, the width. So a width of you see another thing is that a width of a dislocation is uh, that region within a dislocation. It's a very very it's uh, we can call it the core of the dislocation also core uh, core is nothing but the center rather i mean in english core means center right so width or the core of a dislocation is nothing but the region wherein all the elasticity theory fails there is no theory of elasticity that you can apply there because around the dislocation you will have uh, you know uh, the strain field right that i told you because due to lattice distortion now due to this lattice distortion uh, there will be two types of strains which are associated with the dislocation the first one is the elastic strain and the other one is the inelastic strain i mean it's called the plastic strain rather so uh, when you move towards from the out from the outer uh, part of the dislocation towards the core of the dislocation all your linear elasticity theory uh, okay so there are all your elastic strain in other words fails because there is no you know you know within the core of a dislocation you cannot uh, be having at all the uh, you know the elastic strains at all so it is not possible within the width of the dislocation so once you don't have that 
so uh, what really have uh, occurs is that you know that this width this width that i have told you na yeah, this the w is this is actually is not i have not written it you can you guys can note it down so that is equal to a upon 1 minus mu a is nothing but the atomic spacing uh, on the uh, you know uh, at atomic spacing in the slip direction so in the in the slip direction what is the atomic spacing is a okay and uh, b i i think i uh, uh, i mean i wrongly went through this b i mean i told the wrong way of, uh, thing of b because b uh, here is not the bogus vector b here is uh, you know the the distance between the slip planes okay so the distance between the slip planes so it's uh, okay so please make a correction b is nothing but a distance between the slip planes and w is basically the width of the dislocation which is equal to a upon 1 minus mu mu is nothing but the uh, uh, poisson's ratio and a is nothing but the spacing between the atoms Uh, in the slip plane. No, I, I'm sorry. I also said uh, you know the, the wrong thing. Also, the, so A is nothing but the distance between the atoms. Earlier, I said in uh, in the slip direction, it's wrong. It is nothing but the space. I mean, the spacing between the atoms or the atomic spacing in the slip plane is A, and uh, B is nothing but the uh, you know uh, the, the I mean the the spacing, the the interplanar spacing rather to say. Okay, so the interplanar spacing B is nothing but inter here it is the interplanar spacing, but not in all cases. B can also mean the which is the Burgers vector. It's not uh, here the B is not the Burgers vector. Okay, it's different. Okay, so in the, from here for this formula, uh, do you have any idea? Like I want to know from you that if you are uh, W and B, I just want to ask you this. Okay, so you have got this idea, right? So for example, okay, uh, some of you have joined now. Okay, fine. So fine. Uh, so basically, uh, we were discussing. So Akhyat, I think uh, you have joined now. Uh, uh, okay, uh, will you be able to? Yes, sir. Yeah, what, what, will you be able to follow what I have already said, or you know, you need to repeat this thing? But so you can you just can, repeat uh, that like a bit fast. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, sure, 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 sure. I can uh, just show you. It's very simple. I think you have been taught about slip plane, no? Slip plane, slip direction, and all. I think. Ah, uh, yes, okay. sir. Okay. So once you know, so you know, it's a, it's a simple definition of a slip plane is what? It's a plane which has got the highest planar density of atoms, right? On which the dislocations can move, right? By a distance equal to Burgess vector. And uh, I just want to know from you. Do you know? Have any idea about what is a Burgess vector? No. Uh, no. Can you define it? I just slightly forgot about that part. Sure, sure, sure. No problem. See, the Burgess vector is Burgess vector is nothing but the distance, minimum distance traveled by a dislocation on the slip plane in the slip direction, right? Because uh you know so see dislocations what is what is a dislocation first of all dislocation is a one dimensional defect and you know dislocations are carriers of plasticity when you deform the material plasticity dislocations are there to manifest that plus the strain energy you know you induce a lot of strain in the material and dislocations will obviously accommodate that strain yes, right sir. correct because That's that's the physics behind this. So now, when the dislocations move on the slip plane, they cannot move by random distances because now we are talking of crystalline materials. They cannot move, you know, by random distances. So de definitely, there has to be some basis. And dislocations, the minimum translational vector which is associated with the movement of dislocations on the slip plane in the slip direction. The translational vector, I mean, the distance, minimum distance by which dislocations can move on the slip plane in the slip direction, is termed as the Burgers vector, right? Got it? Yes. Okay. Understood that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So definitely, there will be a number of you know. I have sent you. I think last week I have sent you some uh, you know this uh, some some study materials. You if you uh, go if you happen to go through the study material, I think you can also see very very good examples you know of uh, the Burgers vector, good definitions, excellent definitions of Burgers vectors and so and so on. So that's there. So now uh, if you have this, uh, so that that is obviously there, and then there's a slip plane and slip direction also getting defined very well. See, so uh, so de definitely these locations cannot move on all planes. I've said. Now the question is: In a particular plane, can the dislocations move in all directions? This is again impossible. So for that, the dislocations can move only in the direction which has got the highest linear density. Uh, this class is actually not about explaining highly highest linear density. Maybe Professor Pradeep has explained this this to you, I guess, right or no? Has has this been explained to you? Yes, I remember. Okay, 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 sure. So uh, if that is explained, that is good. So uh, if that is the case, so that's what uh, you know. Uh, we should see an atom always. Uh, see, dislocation is nothing but uh, you know it's not uh, at missing end of atom. So when you see that, you say that dislocations are moving. Dislocation should will always energetically it is always favorable for a dislocation to move the minimum distance. No, the minimum distance uh, because that will minimize the strain energy. I will show you uh, this thing in, in a bit more details in the next slide. I will do that. So once you talk of the slip direction, so slip system. Is basically represented by what? It's a uh, represented by slip plane plus slip direction. And if the indices of slip plane is uh, HKL uh, by curly bracket, slip direction is U by W by you know this kind of uh, arrow bracket. So you have this is the slip system. So slip system is represented by HKL U by W. Now, okay. So now, 
I was talking of this Pierce number of stress. So Pierce number of stress. Uh, so you know the, the the reason why the dislocation should move only in this particular plane can be very very explained from this equation. Only on the slip plane and the slip direction, because you see that in a particular. Uh, so if this is a W width of a dislocation, no, it's also termed as the core of a dislocation. This is only that region of a dislocation wherein uh, the all the linear elasticity theory fails. You cannot use the any linear elasticity theory at the width of the dislocation. It's called the center of the dislocation. Basically, people call it. And P is nothing uh, but uh, uh, equal to the interplanar spacing. Okay, so B here is not the Burgers vector; it's the interplanar spacing here, and W is equal to A by one minus mu. A is nothing but the interatomic spacing on the slip plane, and uh, mu is nothing but the Poisson's ratio. Right? Got it? Right? Uh, th this uh, thing you have made a, made a note of it. Okay. Yes, I made a note of it. Okay, good. So you know when you have uh, the, the W, the so width of the dislocation. Uh, so so from this equation, looking at this equation, can you tell me, uh, uh, you know, for a slip plane, what should be the criteria? I mean, what should be the criteria for a slip plane? Because I said W equals to a by one minus mu, and uh, for a slip direction, what should be the criteria? Can you tell um, correlate the slip plane and slip direction with these two terms actually? Tell that roughly. Anyone? You can speak. You I mean you can uh, put your you know, arguments. You can just speak. Unmute yourself and speak. No problem. If the width of this location is equal to interplanar spacing, yeah. or uh -huh. uh, so okay, okay, then 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 yeah. But then a by one one minus mu should be equal to b. But then so we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then we have to see that uh, the relationship between mu in terms of b and a. Yeah, see, this I will tell you. It's a simple thing. See, what you have said is if w is equal to b, what happens? G into e to the power of minus two pi. So e to the power of minus two pi. I mean that will uh, give you something. I don't know. Maybe you get some value. Okay, some different value. That is something uh, which is which I have, see. My question was not that. See, for example, I I told you that in the slip plane, what is there? Slip plane. I have already written the the planar density of atoms has to be very very high. No, I mean the planar density of atoms has to be very high. So in that case. And I said W is equal to a by one minus mu, and a is nothing but the interatomic spacing in the slip plane, right? Interatomic spacing in the slip plane, and b is nothing but the interplanar spacing. So I told, so from this a and b, I mean W is W that is actually equal to a by one minus mu. That is a and b. Can you actually correlate uh, what should be the characteristic of the slip plane and slip direction? Mm -hmm. Rough guess. I will, otherwise, I will tell you the answer. Rough guess. Anyone? Anyone? Please unmute. Good ideas, please. Okay, I'll tell you. See. Uh, so you know, what happens is, I see in the slip plane, which is nothing but the uh, plane with the highest planar density. Na. So highest planar density means what? See the so highest planar density uh, is something. See, the, I, I mean, I I'm not going to discuss that much in details about the planar density and all because you know then it will be a bit. Uh, you know, the class will go on forever. So the planar density. So the, you can also search in literature that slip plane, which is the plane with the highest planar density of atoms, is also the one which is the most widely spaced. Right? I mean, it is wasn't given. So if it is the most widely spaced. Then what happens is that the B uh, is going to be what B is going to be maximum, na? Because interplanar spacing is going to be maximum. Why most widely spaced atoms, plane of atoms. So if B is very very high, for the case of the slip plane, what happens? Your E, uh, I mean this, I mean this denominator gets uh, high. This total term reduces, right? So if this total term reduces, <clears throat> so uh, yeah. So this uh, what I was saying. Um, Uh, I think I, I made a I made some mistake. I let me let me correct it. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. So if the slip plane, if the if the A, I'm uh, yeah. So just forget it. So I just made made a small mistake. Please don't mind it. So if, so if that uh, if the if the spacing is very very high, most widely spaced plane, that is correct. So if the most widely spaced plane, what happens is that uh, W is equal to A by one minus mu. So that A, 
okay so that uh, so that a uh, is is going to be very very high because i already like i said that a is the interplanar spacing in between the slip in between the planes and b is nothing but the uh, spacing between the atoms in, in the slip plane okay i just reverse the definition i made a wrong i made a mistake while doing the definitions please note this change w is equal to a by 1 minus nu and a is nothing but the spacing between the the planes okay or the interplanar spacing and b is nothing but the spacing between the atoms in the slip plane correct now if the spacing is maximum this means a has to be very very high this means the width of the dislocation will, will be increased na? so the width of the dislocation will be increased so this means if the a is very very high the that is the spacing interplanar spacing is maximum for the case of the planar density of atoms which are the most close back so uh, the you know uh, so the, so this is minus sign so this will go to the denominator and this total term will reduce this total term will reduce right got it right yes or no please uh, unmute and speak uh, if you not understood just tell me fast so that i can you know, hello yeah please tell so could you repeat it once Sure, 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 sure. No problem. See, I made a small mistake initially by telling that W is equal to a by one minus mu, and I uh, defined a wrongly. I am sorry for that. See, a is nothing but uh, the spacing between the uh, you know slip planes, and uh, not slip planes. The spacing between the planes or the interplanar spacing. If suppose this is a plane, this is a plane. The spacing between the planes is equal to a. Okay, and b is nothing but the distance between the two atoms uh, in uh, in a particular plane. Right. So you have a plane here. I'm sorry. so okay uh, just a second yeah so now suppose you have an atom here uh, i mean you have a plane of atoms here you have a plane of atoms here so now the distance between the the two planes is equal to a okay so that w is equal to a by 1 minus mu so a uh, is the distance okay and b is suppose you have uh, the atomic planes here 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 so the spacing between the atoms uh, in a particular plane is equal to b okay so that is the definition so uh, so i think now you got it right uh, no Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Good. So fine. So now what happens is that, so if you have the planar density to be very very high, uh, you know, I mean, uh, yeah, planar density to be very very high. Actually, these planes are the ones which are the most widely spaced. Okay. What are the most widely spaced? What do I mean? I mean that A has to be very very high, right? Then uh, this means A has to be very very high. The spacing between the planes has to be very very high. If the spacing between the planes is very high. so the, that is something that qualifies as a slip plane but that is only not enough because there is another term b what is this b so direction having the highest linear density of atoms so if the linear density of atoms is very very high okay so what happens is the spacing between the atoms will reduce right if the spacing between the atoms will be reduced so this will b will definitely go down right b should go down so if the b goes down and a goes high what happens is that this total term 2 pi w by b okay so this total term increases right this total term increases now g by e to the power now this is actually minus this total term increases means this total i mean this pierce navarro stress this is nothing but the stress which is required to uh, you know uh, required for a dislocation to travel on the slip plane in the slip direction okay so this is the definition so now if this is this is going to be very very high this term is going to be very very high this means tau pn should reduce because this is minus sign so the the relation should drastically reduce so now as it is drastically reducing that is the reason why slip cannot happen in random plane rather it can happen only on slip plane and the slip direction this is the logic this is the basic logic behind you know uh, slip uh, you know considering slip or on a particular slip plane and slip direction i think guys you got it right you got the idea no so yes. basically the a must be must go very less than b No, 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 no. That's what. See, a. Uh, I uh, said that a. Now, uh, like I corrected it. Uh, a is nothing but the spacing between the planes, right? So now, the spacing between the planes. See, the the question is the planes which have the highest interplanar yes, spacing, right? So you can actually prove it that there are. Uh, see, uh, see the plane. The the interplanar spacing between all planes will not be the same, na? For example, one 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 plane, two zero zero plane, two 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 plane. So between the all the different planes, the planar uh, the the distance will not be the equal at all. So now the question is. So uh, you will be able to prove actually that if you consider the volume to be constant, okay, uh, the total volume to be constant, so the planes which have got the highest planar density uh, are actually the planes which are the most widely spaced. I said so most widely spaced is going to be very very high, correct? And the, uh, so A is going to be high. This means this term is going to increase, right? Because W is equal to A by one minus mu. So that's there. And slip direction is nothing but you have uh, in a particular plane the uh, the atoms the number of atoms spaced. So 
so if the planar i said linear density on the particular plane is very very high because uh, a plane can have many directions na uh, it can have infinite directions so only in that particular yes, uh, so only in that particular direction where in the linear density will be very very high this means what the linear density is high means the spacing between the atoms reduces na atoms i am talking of atoms not planes now i am talking of atoms on a, on a particular plane so yes, spacing between the atoms reduces spacing between the atoms reduces means this reduces so if this reduces this increases means this term is going to increase na this total mathematical term this term is going to increase na if that is increasing yes sir this is minus this is minus so this means this is going to drastically go down right this is going to go down uh, if this is going to go down this means the see this this means that it is energetically favorable for a dislocation to travel on a slip plane on a in a slip direction correct yes sir correct yeah. okay so you can also yes, read more about it so since it's a very less our class i just wanted to give you a brief idea so uh, just quickly moving on to the next uh, slide now why sleep on the closed pack plane because i briefly discussed about it and now just uh, very small you know thing to show you so if we if i show you a crystal this is a crystal before shearing okay it's a crystal where there is no shearing which is going to occur now so the second case is that now i consider this qr this is another plane of atoms so for example this if you consider this to be you know in 3d this is the plane of atoms in 2d this is a line you see this is a line in 2d and in 3d if you extend it outside the board or inside the board it's a plane right so uh, so if uh, so considering this is 2d what happens is that qr is nothing but the non closed pack direction for example suppose this is not, this is just a schematic so mn if mn is the most closed pack direction and uh, qr is not the uh, you know closed pack direction so in this case and here b in the in this case uh, in the b case so considering the two uh, atomic layers which are you know uh, which are which are not closed packed and these uh, planes i mean all the number of all these particular planes are closed packed and there such that there is a shear acting along certain planes and there is no shear acting along the other planes so in this case what you will find is that so this is quite confusing for you might, might be quite confusing for you so uh, just to simplify all these things what i have said see these locations are always associated with strain energy right because see a thermodynamics is the first law of thermodynamics whenever you deform when you see energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can only be transferred right correct okay so if that is the case this means that a particular material when you deform what you are essentially doing you are essentially applying some mechanical energy to the material and that energy is going into is going to be converted into strain energy in the material right strain energy because uh, essentially you are distorting the lattice and basically that will manifest itself in the form of strain energy and this strain energy basically depends on the bogus vector because how so this is the way so uh, this i think this is not the right way of representing that uh, the strain energy it is should be represented by capital e make a note of it is directly proportional to the square of b that is a, the bogus vector okay the, the square of the bogus vector okay so the greater the bogus vector associated with the dislocation the, the higher will be the strain energy so obviously any material will definitely love to uh, you know uh, minimize its overall energy right every material every uh, material in the universe will will like to minimize its overall energy so if overall energy has to be minimized this b this bogus vector has to go down correct right? the bogus the bogus vector has to go down which means that uh, obviously the uh, you know there is uh, so obviously on, on the slip direction the, the definition again is supported because in the definition what i said on the closed pack plane okay there is a certain direction known as the slip direction on which the planar the the not the planar the linear density of atoms has to be the maximum correct right? linear density of atoms has to be the maximum this means the spacing between the dislocations has to decrease because spacing between dislocations decreases which means what the distance by which dislocations will move during plastic deformation that decreases if the distance between the uh, by which the dislocations will move will during plastic deformation that decreases what happens strain energy is reduced huh? because if this is going to go down this is also going to go down uh, you know substantially if this is going to go down substantially the, st the structure becomes more stable so this is a way you can understand this so now based on this so based based on this we can say that uh, these locations actually uh, i mean those these locations which are the smallest bogus bogus vector have the minimum strain energy correct okay where the b is minimum the strain energy is also going to be minimum for a particular dislocation because definitely these locations there are how many types of dislocations in a material i'm not going to go into details of all just you can uh, read through this book read it i will also upload this uh, uh, material once the class is over so with this uh, uh, you can do that so now i will now i give you a task okay it's a uh, very simple fcc unit cell you guys all know right how to draw and uh, last time i made you draw that hmm? yes or no yeah, you can unmute and speak. yes sir but okay. yes sir okay. Yes, sir. okay. okay. Okay, so now what I want you to do is that can you identify uh, what is the closed pack plane and what is the closed pack direction in FCC units? You have ten uh, minutes for that. Okay, 
So do that. Okay. Is it along the diagonal? Uh, uh -huh. The body diagonal. Mm, body diagonal. Um, for FCC, no. For FCC, no. It's not along body diagonal. For it, it is for BCC. For BCC, just uh, okay. uh, so I think uh, you can do one thing. You just draw it and uh, you know try to you know represent it and just uh, put it, draw it in a note copy and uh, you know put your video on and show it to me. and then I can tell you. Okay. Yeah. Just you, you, have, you have ten minutes for that. Uh, do it fast. So we should show close pack uh, direction and what else? Uh, and close pack plane, close pack plane and close pack direction. Na? Once you show the close pack plane, I think you can draw the close pack uh, direction. Na? Ah, okay. So. So is it uh -huh. the one right, one right, one right. Can you... like that which is uh -huh. formed by the three phase uh -huh. yeah. diagonals? Uh, and can you show me the figure? Uh, just uh, again, you know, your video. Uh, just a second. Yeah, uh, it's coming a bit hazy again, man. Uh, yeah. Now, uh -huh. correct, correct, correct. Good. So now, can you draw the you no know, slip direction? If it's a one 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 plane, yeah. uh, Just draw what slip direction. Slip, what is slip direction? Slip plane. You have used were right. Slip yes, direction. Sir. Okay, because this plane will have a lot of directions, na? So which direction slip will occur? Okay. Yes, uh, draw it. You're right. Yes, sir. Right. Okay, sir.
Any other guy do the slip plane? Any other, anyone other than uh, Kya? Anyone uh, who has done it? Please. Oh, uh, yeah. One second, sir. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that like if you mm -hmm. take the one of those corners as the origin mm -hmm. of that system, like for the slip plane which you drew. So with that, like on any of those x, y, y, z, or z x planes, the dislocations those will yeah, be. Can you show that? I mean, can you show that plane, in the figure? Just, just, okay. I just want to see the figure. Ah yes, sir. Um. Like, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, right. Uh, I'll draw the slip direction. Okay, Akya. Uh, I've drawn that also. Will be. Okay. In the plane, uh, zero. What is that? Uh, zero one. Uh, 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 Aditi, what is the slip direction you have written? One, zero one. one or zero one, one. But, uh, oh, zero one, one. Right. Zero bar one one or something you have written? No. No, zero, just one, zero one, one one. See, that's what correct. And uh, the Akhyad, what do you what did you do label? Okay, fine, Aditi. Uh, what did you label Akhyad? I mean, I just want. I cannot see your uh, video clearly. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. so, okay, well, where is this? Like, I can't understand. Where is the slip direction you have mentioned? I just want to see a uh, slip direction. I can't understand. Where is that written? Okay, so another see another another thing is that you know the slip plane and slip direction should be perpendicular to each other. Why? Because see, slip, slip plane. When I am talking of a slip plane, one one one, I am talking of a normal. Huh? The slip no, the, the plane normal. The plane normal should be perpendicular to the what to the plane itself, right? So the atom should be in the plane. Ah, okay. You can show. Uh, wait, yeah. This is okay. this one. Just wait. I think. Uh, so no, I think. Akhet, your uh, slip uh, direction is uh, what is the slip direction now? Do you think? Can you tell me what is the slip direction? So, like, I thought along each of those uh, main planes, the x, the x, y, y, z, z, x. No, no, no. Along them. Okay, I will, I will give you a hint. I will give you a hint. I will give you a hint. See, I'll tell you. See, you have an atomic plane, na? Yeah. You have an atomic plane. So, in an atomic plane, uh, what, uh, you know, uh, when I'm talking of an atomic plane, I, I'm talking of, a, of the uh, like when I'm using the mirror indices, what I'm essentially talking. I'm talking of the normal, na? atomic norm, plane normal, plane normal. I'm talking of. Na? Ah. Yes, sir. A normal, yes, and I'm talking of which means it should be 90 degree with respect to uh, the, the directions. Na? So I have to consider only those directions which potentially I have to consider those directions which are at 90 degree. All right. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, so now can you give uh, Aditi? It is not zero one one. Uh, it it is actually uh, what one one bar zero because see one into one is one one uh, plus one into minus one is minus one because it should be 90 degree. Slip plane and slip direction should be 90 degree. Yes, so sir. now it's okay. Uh, then it will be okay. It's not zero one, not zero one one. It should be one one bar zero. If it okay. is one one, okay. So I'll uh, just uh, one more minute. I will give uh, Akhet if you can show me now. Otherwise I will uh, put it. I mean I will explain everything. Just, uh, so I drew those planes as one. The mm -hmm. x y. Mm -hmm. That is, if the vector is lying the x y direction and it's not in the z part, so that one I drew 45 degrees mm -hmm. to both x axis, y axis, it be one on zero only, right, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so ju just give me a moment. I will have to, you know, I have some get one call, one got one call coming. Just wait. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, so have you drawn it, uh, Kath? Uh, no, I have to show you now. So, yeah, have you drawn it, right? Uh, 
सर वन सेकंड सर जस्ट डूइंग दैट सी आई द हिंट इज 0 1 1 बार ना और 1 1 बार 0 सी इट्स इफ इट इज 1 1 1 सो इट इज नथिंग बट अ ट्रायंगल ना सो इफ इट इज अ ट्रायंगल देन इट शुड बी द फेस डायगोनल इट्स अ सिंपल थिंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू द आंसर नाउ आल्सो नाउ ओनली सेस ओके नो प्रॉब्लम नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन यू कैन डेफिनेटली ट्राई यू नो आई विल गिव यू अ होमवर्क आल्सो सो डोंट हैव टू वरी सो ओके गुड सो सी दिस इज योर मोस्ट डेंस दिस इज योर क्लोज पैक प्लेन See, this is a close pack plane. In case of the FCC unit right, cell, okay. So these are all the phase shifted atoms and all. So this is your uh, slip plane, the most close pack plane, okay. And uh, within this close pack plane, all these directions, this direction, this direction, this direction. See, this is one one zero. See, all these are family, na? One one zero family. Because FCC, all the ah oh, yes. Uh, yes. So all the slip direct, all the slip. Uh, so all these, uh, you know, what to say? Directions are equivalent because all the sides are equal and all are equal to 90 degree. Only is only in cube. If it is not cube, then this will be different. Uh, like these two will be same, but this will be different, right? This cannot be the. Yes, sir. So that's what. So in cubic uh, example, since you have around, you know, you have uh, three four volt axis of rotation. I think you might have learned about it. So our four three volt axis of rotation. As a result of this, all the sides are equal and equal to 90 degree. And angle between each equal to 90 degree. And in that case, what happens is that you will have all these, you know, the the sides of the rectangle be acting as a slip direction, one one zero direction. So basically, if it is one one one, like see how so okay for, uh, to you, uh, one one one. How many uh, you know planes are you aware of? How many? No, no, no. Is that that, that yeah. one plane only, right? That right. triangle one. Uh, yeah, but in a cube, in a cube, how many one 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 planes are you aware of? Okay, if you take every edge, like mm -hmm. every of those corners, eight corners, so eight such ah. will be there. But uh, okay, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, four. correct. Four. four, yeah, four because I tell you, for why I tell you. See, eight is also correct. Four is also correct. See, eight is basically a total, right? It's a total number. But I, uh, so in for, but what happens? You see, if it is one one one, and I am taking one bar one bar one bar one. Okay. Means, uh, yes, so then so you know this is like parallel planes ah uh, parallel planes that's the reason we uh, for our calculation so i mean how many slip systems are there we take four but total you are right because in total it is eight but uh, in, partly aditi is also correct because that is uh, one bar one i mean bar one bar one bar one and one 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 so they are parallel so you know we cannot consider both right so that's what so similarly Sir, you know, uh, you... what is bar one bar you see minus one minus one Minus one in crystallography we call minus one as bar one actually. Okay. Sir. Minus one, na means see one 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 and there is minus one minus one minus one. So minus uh, we don't write uh, we don't call it minus in crystallography. We call one bar or bar one. Uh, I mean we put a bar on top of one. So that's what we call it. Okay. okay so okay. fine. So, good. So uh, if so if that is there and uh, okay good. So can you tell me like from here just looking at this figure how many one one zero pl uh, planes are here? I mean, uh, three. Three, three, okay. Like, yeah, uh, right. six actually. Yeah, but uh, is, is it six or is it uh, how much? Exactly, is it six or how much? Six, I think. Six. Uh, just again, rethink, rethink once. How many possible combinations of one one zero can you have in cubic? Four, sir. No, 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 not four. Six is uh, partly correct. I told you, no, last time, like last time, six is partly like four was partly correct in the last. So is it twelve? Ah, is it twelve? Yeah, why? Uh, because one, one bar and zero, like zero can be in three places, right? So three into two into two, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Right. So that's what. So that's what. So you have totally around one one zero. I mean, totally twelve one one zero. But out of that, you know, but out of that, you have, uh, you know, you don't consider parallel things, okay? As a result of which you consider take only six, but that is not like uh, just just a question that is not relevant here because I will because this will come in the next slide for the BCC unit cell, but uh, that's okay. Uh, means for he, for this particular plane, uh, you know, for this only one particular plane, if you take uh, one 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 plane and this is not a family. If you take a family, means total there are four you know four slip planes and each plane will have three slip direction in FCC. So there is this one one zero direction. See, because in every triangle you cannot have total six, na. If you cannot have six one one zero, you can only have three one one zero in a particular one one one. So, uh, so as you have seen, uh, there are total four uh, slip planes. A slip direction in every slip plane is equal to three. That's what. That is uh, that's the thing. So that in in total, so in total there are what? So the slip system is one 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 zero, like HKLUVW, 
and uh, the total number of sim systems is 4 into 3 that's 4111 uh, and uh, for, you know uh, 3110 so 4 into 3 because each has 3 each 111 has 3 uh, sleep direction and its total comes is, uh, comes to around 12 okay this this is what right you guys are clear with this any doubts please ask yes sir any doubts please ask okay uh, i think if you are clear then can we proceed towards bcc uh, can you do the same thing for bcc now draw the close pack plane and close pack direction for bcc you have uh, exactly i don't have much time maybe i can give you six, six uh, to seven minutes okay six to seven minutes for this just do that and i can quickly show you the answer then okay You're trying. Sir, is it one one zero plane? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, now let me see. Can you show me uh, that? Uh, how did you draw it? I mean, uh, just uh, wait, 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 wait. What is a? Uh, ha! Huh, right, right, right. Okay, now identify the slip direction from here. Aditi is showing something. What is this? Uh, slip direction. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, one one zero. Okay, this is correct. Uh, right and one one zero. Huh? Right, right, right. One one zero is okay. So uh, just uh, identify slip direction now. Sir, I've done that. I got. Okay, uh, tell, tell, tell. One second, yeah. sir. Um, I got one bar, one one. One bar, one one. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Correct. 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 Yeah. That's right. Right. So can you just show it? Uh, Sorry. I guess there'd be like two for the slip. What is two? Direction one 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 and the like. Uh -huh. If you take uh -huh. the body uh -huh. that right. the right, 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 right. See, that's what I'm saying. So, so you take one, one, one and uh, 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 correct. So, uh, so how many slip systems now uh, do you have in uh, you know uh, BCC now? If the body then like the how much? Twelve, right? Twelve, right? Ah, uh, twelve. Six into two, right? Uh, but this is, see, that's what, see, BCC uh, thing is not as simple as FCC because, you know, uh, I will tell you, but I mean, this is your right. I mean, you, all you guys are, right. it's not wrong. I mean, in 110111 slip system, there are only 12. But uh, I will also show you the other cases where you also might have other slip systems activated as well. I mean, it's not always, this is the slip system which is the most commonly activated because, again, there is a slip system activation. I, this will be taught later, but this is what. So in uh, FCC, what, basically what do you have? This is your, you know, uh, 110, right? This is our 110 that you guys have drawn. And in this, so within, within this, what you have is that this is uh, this body diagonal. This body diagonal of the cube is basically going to your slip direction, correct? 111, this is going to the slip direction, okay? So if that is the case, so there are total six uh, most close pack plane 110 and this is most close pack direction in each 110 is equal to two. So this means, uh, you know, uh, so, so basically you have uh, you know, basically you generally have this kind of slip system you, which is activated this is total 12 similarly you can also have the other kind of slip systems 112 111 there are also 123 111 i mean uh, you don't have to that much you know think about it now but uh, to further information this is not the only slip system i mean this is the most active one but there are also certain slip systems occurring at uh, operating at different stresses and also sometimes at different temperatures and in different materials also this happens 
so you know uh, so basically you know so the total number of subsystems is equal to 48 why i tell you this is equal to 12 this is here 112111 there is total 6112 planes and there are each will have 2111 uh, direction so 6 into 12 that is 12 so 12 plus 12 is 24 and here 1 2 3 the so this is a very very high index plane right these two are basically very very high index planes the 1 2 3 there are 6 into 4 there are 24 slip uh, planes 24 1 2 3 slip planes which are possible if you have different combinations of these numbers na permutation you do simple combination and you know you find that 6 into 4 that is 24 into uh the, 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 i mean not 6 into 4 that is 6 into 4 i mean this total 6 uh i mean i, I mean a very small mistake there is there are basically total 6 uh, slip systems only available that there is 6 into 4 i mean uh, with this combination you have 6 into 4 slip systems means 24 slip systems means 12 plus 12 plus 24 is 48 total 48 slip systems you have in bcc but uh, the question is uh, now that uh, you know uh, and i will show you you know basically about uh, so this is the table you can we can note of it because you know you can take snapshot or whatever you feel you can take a note of it uh, make a note of it there is this is the slip plane slip direction uh, there are these are the slip systems unicell geometry you know this will be helpful for your you know next uh, studies also so you can just take a note of it you guys understood right what is what i wanted to say or yeah yes or no no yes sir yeah may uh, make a, i mean take a note of it or you know take snapshot or something do that yeah you can take it you can take it no from the screen you take a snapshot. sir take a snapshot take a mobile and do a snapshot yes sir okay now one question to you guys is very simple question is that you know i want to ask this see i am telling that in fcc there are 12 slip system systems okay only 12 slip systems and in bcc i am talking that there are 48 slip systems but the most if you consider the most close packed slip system 110111 there are only 12 correct but the question is now that if you take a, okay uh, now i will ask the question like this so if you have an fcc material and a bcc material which out of the two materials you will find to be the most ductile you have an idea any idea on this Why? Okay. Why? Good. Correct. Why? Is it the FCC one? Sir also said in the class that uh, the gold is more ductile. Is F it's FCC and tungsten is BCC, but you are not that ductile. Why? Can you any ideas? It's it's more close pack, so there is more ah, room for yeah. Uh, distortion. Yeah. 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 Correct. Maybe uh, it's yeah. There is more not room. See, in science, you cannot say more room for distortion. Rather, you should say yeah, as it is more close pack, these locations can easily move, right? These locations can easily move, right? Because see, yeah, that's, so what, that's I, what I meant. Uh, yeah. The close the the, the the shorter the distance between atoms means the more close pack. Means uh, these locations have to cover much less distance. You know, uh, for every step when they do, you know, they do very plastic deform. That's the reason why it is. Why so? There's a very interesting question. Is that why when BCC with 48 slip systems and uh, this is 12 slip systems only? Why this is more ductile than this one? <laughs> this is a very interesting, you know, tussle uh, so in science actually. This is one thing. Okay, another question to you is that uh, have you heard of alpha iron? Has Pradeep said thought of you know alpha iron or something? So iron carbon phase diagram. I think he has thought of alpha. No, alpha alpha iron. Has he thought of that? Yes, Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, can you tell? Uh, yeah. Now, in the left-hand side of that uh, phase diagram, there is something called alpha. Uh, I mean, alpha ferrite, na? Uh. Just think. think well. Alpha ferrite. Okay. I don't have to think about alpha ferrite. Think of alpha iron. Simple alpha iron. Okay. Simple alpha iron. In alpha iron, uh, it is highly ductile, na? Iron at room temperature is highly ductile, right? Correct. Considerably, I mean, not that much, but yeah. Okay. Uh, but okay. Now, but uh, I already said that FCC metals are comparatively much more ductile as compared to BCC. But then, why do you think this uh, uh, alpha ferrite? Like when I am adding carbon to this alpha iron, for example. Okay. So when I am adding carbon to alpha iron, which is you know to form the alpha ferrite. Okay. So why do we call that alpha ferrite is the softest phase in the phase diagram? Right, because BCC, if this is not as ductile, then it should be hard, na? Why it is I'm calling it as a softest phase in the phase diagram? Maybe, Maybe because I'm, that when the car carbon atoms they get added, they go into those inter interstitial voids. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So because okay, that okay. the close packing of the system it increases. 
and mm, not not exactly not exactly there is something other than that happening okay uh, see if the carbon atom goes to the octahedral voids like there is uh, talked talk about the uh, the voids no the earlier class so if they go into the yes, octahedral basically and they cause uh, the tetragonal distortion there is something we have to read it yourself i think better uh, it's called tetragonal distortion once this tetragonal distortion happens carbon basically strengthens up your uh, material but at the same time at the same time see the carbon is going to go, go there uh, now carbon itself is having an atomic radius is very small no as compared to iron atoms so if it is very small means there is a size difference if there is a size size difference there has to be some lattice distortion if there is lattice distortion there has to be some strain right there should be strain in the material strain means that strain will harden your material right because it will make it make the uh, more difficult make it more difficult for you to uh, to not deform that material but the only thing but, but but why do we see it as a highly ductile phase see the uh, so you can think about it you guys can think about it so based on today's understanding can you correlate today's understanding with this uh, alpha ferrite or not i mean is alpha ferrite an exception or not so you have to think i mean uh, this this something you have to think brain brain you have to apply your brain and find find it out it's a very simple thing but just uh, think the search for literature if you want okay got it so yes or no you guys yes sir okay got it. yes sir okay so uh, for uh, your uh, so now your homework is as follows so now about you know all, all this in fcc and vcc you have to do the same exercise for hcp units sir and find out what are the slip systems in hcp that's the homework Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So you know you have to not uh, how to draw an HCP unit cell. No, that is not a problem for you. I think uh, then you can give a try. Once you know about HCP unit cell, I think this is also available in many textbooks. But first read about them, understand them, and then not do it because in finals you might get questions not as straightforward as this. So maybe. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, okay, fine. So uh, okay, I think now time is also for you. You can, you guys, uh, before leaving, just uh, give your attendance. You know, give your attendance in that uh, Google Classroom so that we can mark you present. Okay. Uh, just type your roll number uh, to today's date and uh, type present one because when you enter, it was present, and uh, now you put present one. Okay. And submit the homework definitely before today's before next class. Okay. Before the next uh, tutorial session. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, you guys can leave now. Uh, but give your attendance. Okay, there. Don't forget. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. You're always sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Kaji, you wanted to say something or?